Hey, hey, hey! Hi guys! Tara here in the craft cabin. Hope you are well today. Sorry I was a little bit late. I got caught up this morning in other things. Um, actually, what I was doing, I was sending my family a task, one of Tara's tasks <laughs> for the day. So um, I'm sure lots of you are the same. You have family WhatsApp groups. Um, and my family are sharing different things and we're going mad on puzzles at the minute so we, we share a puzzle a day um, but I said today I want to do something different so I set everyone a task today to make something so I sent my family a little um, picture thing um, and gave them the task that they have to create something today. So they can write or they can do music or they can do makeup or they can do crafts or work stuff or whatever, just create something. So uh, that's why I was late today. I was setting a challenge for my family. Um, the minute I sent it, I could feel my family's eyes roll it's like oh another weird thing from Tara <laughs> but anyway I don't care so I'm dying to see what I get back I'm sure it'll be a mixed bag of of things but anyway 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 how are you um all doing so I see we have some people online so do say hello to me if you're online tell me who you are and where you are from I'd love to to know that let me know who I'm talking to so our craft village is coming along so we've loads of stuff on it um so we keep uh, building on on that hey Pam how are you um, so we keep building on our craft village so we'll, we'll do that so every day we'll, we'll add some things to it and um, just to say if anyone's interested I'm going to reopen our website so we had closed there and um, I was saying on Monday we had closed it but I'm going to reopen it I just had so many people looking for for bits and bobs and um, and the delivery guys um, are still going so I'm here on my own and you know so why not and <laughs> um, Suzanne says hello hi Suzanne how are you hope you are well today hope you are crafting um, so today I um, was well yesterday I was looking around the house and I want to do more crafts that um, maybe use up some of the things that you have around um, home Pam says skibbereen fan hello to the posse down in skib how are you um, so I was looking around the kitchen, um, just some things that you would probably have lying around at home that you could use to make crafts with. So I thought an egg carton, we all have egg cartons of some sort. Um, so um, I brought over my egg carton this morning um, and cut mine up. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. And I think the bottom bit actually, I'll probably use that for a craft as well. It looks like a perfect boat shape actually, doesn't it? Hmm. You see lots of um, lots of crafting opportunities everywhere. So today what I uh, said I'd do is I'd, I'd make egg cup or egg, what do you call it? Carton, an egg carton craft. So there's loads of little crafts online. You can look them up. There's lots of different things that you can um, do with them. Um, for our, I'm gonna do a couple of crafts for older um, kids. And one of the most beautiful crafts I've seen is, is making them into flowers. It takes a little bit of work and lots of cutting out um, and a little bit of dexterity in the old hands, but uh, it's a lovely craft as well. So I'll do that for older kids later on this week, actually. Um, Mm, that means I'm gonna to have to eat a lot of eggs. <laughs> That's okay, I like eggs. I'll eat lots of eggs just for you guys, just for you. If only I could come up with a craft for sweet wrappers because <laughs> I'd be eating lots of sweets. So um, yeah, so let's get on with it. So there's a good few people on. Do say hello guys if there's anyone on today and um, do send us your photographs. I haven't had as many photographs lately. So I'd love to see photographs of things that you are making and not just things that you make with me, but anything that you make crafty. I'd love to see. It's great inspiration to see um, what everyone else makes. That would be fantastic. And if you have any requests, if there's things you would like me to make um I can do that absolutely I'd love a challenge god yeah you could challenge challenge Tara yeah maybe you could give me a, a random household object to craft with Ooh, don't know what I've let myself in for there and um, but yeah give me um give me a, a yeah yeah give me a challenge <laughs> um but if there is anything that you you want as well um uh, to use up things in the house or just ideas on, on how to use certain things do let me know so who do we have on here we have uh, Karen hi Karen and Sophie hello Sophie 
So Sophie and Karen are in Dublin. They are crafting in Dublin. How are you ladies? We have Aoife McCormick. Oh Aoife, hello. Aoife got her little box of tricks, a uh, box of goodies. The girls are having a ball. Ah, lovely. That's what I love. Aoife um, contacted me and said, look, this is how much I have. Send me stuff. So I got to decide what the girls got. So it was great fun for me as well, Aoife. Thank you so much for the order. Uh, that was great. Um, I hope it entertains them for, for a while. They can go through crafts fairly quickly, can't they? So guys, I was just saying today I am making crafts with um, ye old egg carton. So this is just one that I had. And I realised I should have brought another one in to show you how I cut it up. Um, so Pam says, challenge Tara, I have lots of milk bottles. Ooh, milk bottle crafts. Okay, I, I can come up with that. Do you get bottles in, in cork? Huh, I never get milk bottles actually, I always use the cartons. But anyway, cork is just a little bit different I suppose. But yeah, I'll have a little think about that Pam, thanks. Hmm. You know, your friends got your back, don't they? <laughs> so anyway, let's get on to our egg carton crafts. So this is the, the top of it. So I use the bottom. So the bottom is um, made up of all these little sections. So what I did is I cut it. And these are all the little bits that are left over from cutting it. I actually found it easier using a Stanley knife to cut. So um, while I did use my, oops, my scissors, I did find the Stanley knife um, handier. And I also find it handy for um, cutting the little edges and stuff off. Whoops. Um, cutting some of the edges off. So you might want to use that. So that is just something for, for the grown-ups to use, obviously. But between your scissors and your Stanley knife, you'll be able to cut it up. And you will get them like this, where you have little knobs and rickety edges and you have little holes in it. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. What do I always say? Wonky is wonderful. Um, and every animal and every flower and every human, we're all different. None of us look alike. So it doesn't matter. They're all going to look a little bit different and a little bit wonky, but that's all right. So I cut mine up and I had a six pack, <laughs> Tara six packs, so I had um, a dozen eggs, or a half dozen eggs, and I made, or I got six of these. So I was able to make six. So you'll be able to make loads of them. So I'm going to show you, I made three different ones this morning. So which one I show you first? So I made a little penguin. See the little cute little penguin. So this is my little one. So I'm going to show you how to make a penguin. I also made a turtle. I really like this one actually. So this little turtle I made. So I think he is quite doughty. Give us a thumbs up if you like um, if you like either of these little boys. And then I made a little bee. So, and have little wings on him as well. So this little bee, I think he needs a little smile or something. He looks a bit sad. So I think I need to put a little smile on him as well. So we're going to make um, these. I'm going to show you how to do the three of these. I don't have another green one, but I'll show you how to do the base on, on this one because um, it's a, a full base. Whereas the likes of these ones, whoops, um, just have things stuck in, in the middle of them and tied, tied off. But I'm just going to show you how to do them. And we're also going to do some random one as well. We'll, we'll come up with something because I still have this one left. So I haven't decided what to do on this one. So we come up with something. I have a few bits and bobs here. So God knows what will happen. So guys, let's get crafting. So I'm going to pop this down. So if you can all see me, hello, hello. So we're going to make our little penguin first. So this is the, the first guy that we're going to do. So what I did with my ones is I painted mine. So all mine are painted. But you could absolutely use markers, any type of marker that you have, you could use. So you could color them in that way, just if you don't have paints. I used acrylic paints, which are, you know, they're they're the best for coverage and a little goes a long way. If you use poster paint, you might still see some of the cardboard through it, but that's perfectly fine. Use whatever you have at home um, and make do. OK, so this one, I have my um, painted one. So this one's all done. See this, Tara didn't paint fantastically, so that's okay. So there's only a few little elements on this one. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white paper. So I'm going to do his belly. And you can see I already did, did one here. So I'm just going to cut just like a little crescent, just a little, little hump. 
for his belly. Oops. So just like that. So I have um, that. I also going to need a little bit of yellow. I'm going to do a beak and I'm going to do his feet. So um, just a little piece of paper like this is more than enough. So if I cut, whoops, the daisies. So if I cut a beak, so it's just going to be a little triangle. So just cut out a triangle, whoops, like that. So that's going to be his beak. I'm gonna put that down here. And now we're going to do his feet. So I'm gonna do his feet maybe just a little bit long because then it means that you can use this bit here to, to fold up and stick at the back. So don't make them too short, okay? So we are going to just draw. You can draw it or you can just freehand it, but I'm just going to draw it just to show you. So all we're doing is two feet like that. So just like an M. If you draw an M on your piece of paper, like this, and cut it. Oops, the daisies. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And sometimes when you go around the, the edges, when you draw, you don't always follow the guidelines that you've drawn. So don't worry about it. So I'm just going to point this one a little bit more. Whoops. Now, so I have my little feet like this. Okay. So if I bend it up, Give it a little fold because then I can put glue in here and I can make it uh, make it stick. And then I have loads of googly eyes as always. So we're going to use lots of googly eyes on this. Now, I recommend for this class or this craft that you use PVA glue. So Pritt stick is really good or any kind of glue stick is really good when you're sticking paper to paper. But sometimes when you're using things that are oddly shaped or um, the surface isn't as smooth as it is with paper, the PVA glue is, is, is better, okay? Now, the only thing with PVA glue is that sometimes it takes a little long, it takes a while to dry. So sometimes you have to hold things together or you have to wait until they dry before you can move, uh, move on. So just to take your time, if you're using PVA glue, just to take your time on it. Now, today I'm going to use my hot glue gun, okay? Now, you do not need to use a hot glue gun okay you can use PVA glue and do exactly the same the only thing is it's going to take a little bit longer but if you're making loads of these things you can kind of do a little bit on one and then move on to another and then move on to another and then come back to it so you have loads and loads of time but just for today because I need to go fast and show you all of them I'm going to use a glue gun so anywhere that I use a glue gun you are going to use PVA glue all right and if you see what I did the other day what I use when I'm doing a PVA um, glue is I put it into a, a little uh, bowl and I use a paintbrush so I'm able to paint my PVA glue on. Some people use um, the, the little spreaders and um, the little plastic spreaders. I find the glue goes everywhere so I always have um, some little uh, paintbrushes that I use. I find them much better but always wash out your paintbrushes after. <laughs> so let's assemble this one. So where I'm going to put his body just depends on you where where you have a nice smooth area so I'm going to put it at the front here so I am going to put a little bit of glue here so again when you're using PVA glue just paint a little bit of PVA glue on it I'm going to put down my body and then next I'm going to put down my beak so just a little bit of glue here Oops. and I'm going to get my beak and I'm going to kind of bend it up a little bit so it's it's standing up like that. Okay. With the feet, so I'm going to uh, put the glue so it's at the back here. So when I put in my, um, oh, I might fold that up a little bit more. So when I put it in, it has something to hold at the back. So I put it in like that. That makes sense. Just going to cut that a wee bit. Whoops. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edge. So a little bit of glue on the flap on the inside, just like that. And then I'm going to stick it at the back. So I just hold it down and then press the little legs up, so like that. And then where would we be without some little eyes? So I'm going to put some eyes on him. 
and here. So we have like that. And what about, I think we could put some little um, flippers on this guy, couldn't we? So I'm just going to take a little bit of paper, just take a wee bit of paper like this, and I'm going to um, cut out like two little flippers for him. So we have one, and I should have followed my own advice. Aren't I always saying to cut things, fold them, and then you only have to cut once? I should listen to myself some days, shouldn't I? <laughs> so I have two flippers. Uh, one is bigger than the other, but that's all right. <laughs> Gonna fold it over again. So we have a little bit of area to put our glue. So you put your PVA glue on the, the little edge like that. And we're going to stick it down. So just with the glue gun, it just, it dries nearly instantly. So that's why it's just handy for me to use use it here. But if you're using PVA glue, when you stick it down, you might just have to hold it just for a little a little second or two. But with my one, it kind of is instant. So I have two little penguins. So hope you like them. So you could do other things on them. You could put little hair and things on them. Um, different penguins have, have different colors as well. You could do a little bit of yellow on it, isn't it? The What kind of penguins do you call it that have the, the they're yellow as well? Or you could come up with crazy penguins. Like there could be purple penguins in, in you know, your village for God's sake. So, you know, come up with something, whatever you want. So we're gonna finish uh, with our penguins. We're going to move on to our turtle. So this is our little turtle, okay? With this one then, I just colored it green. So I painted it green. Again, you can use markers if you want to. So I'm gonna show you how to do the base on it. I find when you're doing some of these that it's better to do a whole base that you can glue down onto. Sometimes when you're trying to add a leg here and a leg there and an arm here, it can get a bit messy and things can fall off. So I think it's easier if you keep it all together on one piece. I think that works the best, okay? So I don't have another egg um, carton top, but I'm going to show you how to do the the, the green bit anyway so I'm just using a piece of paper so I want it to be big enough that I can draw the um his legs coming out and his head so I just want it big enough to to do that okay so I'm first going to do a circle so I just have some washi tape so this is about the same size as my um egg carton so I'm going to put it into the middle and draw around it so this just gives me a little guide so I can draw all my little bits off it. So I'm going to first I'm going to draw a head on him. So we might go that way a little bit. I'm going to draw my flippers. So we'll do the top one a little bit bigger than the bottom ones. And again, don't worry about them all being equal or the same, the same size. They don't have to be. And I'm going to give him a little tail, so like that. So I've just drawn my basic shape. You can go around it in marker then. So sometimes when, when you draw with pencil, um, you might go over it a couple of times to get it right. So the marker then just means you can go over the lines that you know are correct. Go over again and around his tail. So there is my shape. So all I'm doing now is I'm going to cut that out. So when I cut that shape out then, I can put my mine just on top. So again, you can put PVA glue all around the edge or you can paint PVA glue all around the edge here, place it down on top and just let it dry for a little while. That's all you have to do. And on this one, I then put eyes on him and a little mouth and a nose. I also coloured mine in with little dots on it. So like a turtle or a tortoise, they have um, little patches on it as well. So you could do, do that as well. But that's how to do it. So if you draw it on a piece of paper first, you can do that. And that's the same for any little animal that has legs. It's just handier to have it all on a base. So you can plonk, plonk that straight down. Okay, so that's the turtle. 
see the little turtle we're going to do our B next so I'm going to show you how to do um, a B if you have pom-poms you can use pom-poms you can stick them down here and I also use I don't know if you can see that there I have his um, antennae as well I don't know if you can actually see that properly and um, you can use that as well so this one I started off just by painting it so just a plain yellow paint job um, on this one I did use some wool so I took some wool and I wound it around it so you can do that if you don't have wool just use a marker so on this one I'm just going to use a marker and all I'm going to do is to draw lines around it that's all I'm going to do so I actually might use a thicker marker so I don't have to go around it a few times so this is a thicker marker oops so just draw some lines going across it if you have paint you could paint the lines on as well um, the yarn is good just because it adds another texture to it and that's good to try try new things as well but this is fine all I'm doing is drawing lines all around it whoops I do on the back as well so I have like this so that's going to be my basic shape so that's going to be my little B on this one I used a pom-pom if you have pom-poms you can use them again if you're using PVA glue on them you just have to hold them for a little while so they, they stick pom-poms are always a little bit tricky um, but you do just need to hold them for a little while when you're using PVA glue but if you don't uh, want to do that you can always just use some paper so if we draw you could draw a little circle on a piece of paper or you can just freehand it I'm going to freehand it this may or may not work out so just draw a little face for your B and when you're using paper try and keep little bits of paper when you're trying to maneuver with loads of big bits of paper it can be hard so just do a circle so I have a little circle there okay so I am just going to do um i'll give give her some eyes as well so going to push two little eyes on you can draw them in as well if you don't have googly eyes and i'm going to do a little smile and with this one I used pipe cleaners so if you have uh, black pipe cleaners at home you could use them to make the antennae but if you don't you can just use a little bit of black paper so I'll just use black paper on this one so just going to cut two little strips like that so I have two strips like that I'm going to use a little bit of glue and because I'm just doing paper on paper I'm just going to push a little bit of glue on the top of the head I'm going to stick these down like that and I can just kind of bend them you see there I can just bend them a little bit like that so I think that is a perfectly acceptable bee's head what do we think yeah so then this one I'm just going to stick on so you're going to use a little bit of PVA glue um, and stick it on so a little bit on the back and you can stick the head on so just like that and the last thing I'm going to do is to put some wings on them so for me when I was doing the wings I thought it'd be nice to use some um, scrap paper so you could use newspaper or you could tear a page out of an old book or you could just use ordinary white paper as well anything that you want you could um, you could do I just thought it was nice to, to do this um, I don't have anything kind of see-through although actually you could use tracing paper couldn't you um, tracing paper can look um, almost like wings um, from an animal so I'm just cutting out a wing shape and what I did is I didn't I made sure I didn't cut it completely 
um, I left a little bit at the, the edge there so when I pull it out it doesn't come apart just I think that's a little bit handier Oops. and then a little bit of um, glue so again you're going to use PP glue and you're going to pop your wings down and just press it Oops, hot glue gun is hot you're going to press it down and then there we go hey presto so those are our bees our little bee friends so again you can use pom-poms and uh, pipe cleaners or you can just use paper and uh, paper <laughs> to to make it as well so you come up with your your own version of these i do have one left so i have this one left so um, I had started colouring it in and I thought, oh, do you know, I'll just wait until um, you guys come on and we'll do something with it. So what have I taken? A couple of colours. What colours do I have here? Um, and let's do, what about doing a rainbow? So again, I'm just using marker here. So you can use your own markers at home. So you don't even have to paint them. So you'll see what's happening with my one. Do, we do some purple. So what about doing, what about a little alien lands in our village? How about that? I think we could come up with some aliens. What about that? Yeah. I'm going to do some pink. We go around with pink. Whatever colours you have in your stash. Again, you can do a much better job at this than me. You can fill in all the blanks. Oops, colouring it all in do I have some other colours I have some yellow do some yellow hmm, you don't really see the yellow that much in it it's okay so I have now kind of a, a rainbow one going on what about doing black at the top and this one, what about, just because I have a pipe cleaner sitting here, I have a blue pipe cleaner. Um, because actually this morning when I was thinking of what ones will I do, I was thinking of doing a whale. And I thought this could be the water coming out of the whale. So your pipe cleaner could be um, water coming out of the top of a, a whale or a dolphin or something. <laughs> so we could do... I am thinking I'm going to put two little holes in the top. I'm going to put my pipe cleaners in my two little holes here. Like that. And what about putting the eyes on? Whoops. like that <laughs> so we have a little alien coming to us and um, what about we do some yellow fish for him and I think this guy has like clown feet so let's see so we're going to cut two strips and I'm going to wind it around a piece or a, a pencil so they're going to roll up like that so if I put a little bit of glue at the edge so I'm putting just a little bit of glue along the edge you can use PVA glue of course I'm gonna put this here oops so my guy has funny shoes so, oh, I could stick that on the other side. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So come up with some of your own little creatures as well, okay? So just gonna come back. Hello, hi, hi guys. So we have made our little alien guy. So we have an alien in our village. We have made two little, oh, something's come off there. We've made two little um, bees. So we have our little buzzy bees going on. We have our penguins. So we have two little penguins to put in our village. And um, this is a crazy kind of village, isn't it? <laughs> and then we have our little turtle. So we have a little turtle to, to put in the village as well. So, 
Hmm. So I hope you come up with some really, uh, really good ones as well. Who do we have on? Oh, we have Neve. Hi, Neve. How are you? So Neve, um, I know Neve is sitting there with her lovely little daughter, Avine. So Avine and Neve are in Burr and they're doing a huge huge amount of crafting they're making their own village so hello Avian I'm waving to you hello I hope I got it all right <laughs> hi guys how are you uh, we have May Malaz is online as well hello guys are you all well so that's it for today my dears um, do let me see whatever you're going to make today I would love to see what your crafting um, entails today and what crazy things you will come up with I'm sure yours are going to be even better than mine so anyway tune in tomorrow and um, tomorrow I think I might use the bottom of my egg carton and do something it is a terrific boat shape so perhaps tomorrow we, we will make a, a, a boat and a, a sail and stuff oh yeah let's do that <laughs> and thank you Pam for her challenge Tara Um, Pam has challenged me to make something from uh, milk bottles Um, I don't even know if I have a milk bottle would a milk carton maybe be acceptable Uh, we have made loads of bird feeders with milk cartons actually I'll show you how to do do that uh, very very soon uh, just to say we have Janice um, watching as well thank you from Esme hi Esme giving you waves how are you <laughs> okay guys gonna sign off gonna do a little bit of work today and um, gonna try and get home uh, for lunchtime and stay home um, and enjoy myself and read my book <laughs> bye guys